Hi, Quadcopter101 here. Before we get started, let's get the shoutouts out of the way. Today's shoutouts goes to Q Dude and Dan Dipper. Both were first to say first in one of my recent videos and thus won a shoutout. So congratulations to both of you. For night glory. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what do I got for you today? This is the new Lee Idea Idea 9 1080p GPS quadcopter, folding quadcopter, very unusual shape. I've never seen anything like this actually before, shaped like this particular. Well, I, there is one. Uh, dang, I forgot it. About a year and a half ago, I tested a little uh, folding drone that was similar to this, except this one is much bigger, and it is actually somewhat heavy. Um, it is powered by a, uh, very large motors. Um, I really can't see what size motors those are inside there probably here let's go like that probably 1020s maybe they are good size motors but here's how it unfolds let's open it up um this you know my first impressions in this this feels a lot like i don't know if any of you remember the old wl toys v262 it's it reminds me of it for some reason um it's about the same size you know probably the same size motors or no, they're not the same motors as the v262 i'll tell you that because that particular drone. I'm very familiar with those motors because I had to replace them so many times. But this one hopefully won't need as much replacement. Although, you know, it is a brush motor drone, so, you know, with brush motor drones, they nearly always need to be replaced eventually. But let's go over it again. It has a 1080p camera that can be swiveled up or down. I got to point it slightly downward. Um, the video, it records 1080p directly to a micro SD card. And there's the micro SD card inserted in the micro SD card slot. Um, it does transmit, or it's controlled over 2.4 gigahertz using the controller, uh, but also it uses 5G, 802.11 AC 5G Wi-Fi for the app, control through the app and video through the app, all the features through the app. So you are going to need an 802.11 AC Wi-Fi capable phone to fly this drone using the app, unfortunately. So before considering purchasing this, make sure that your phone is indeed 802.11 AC Wi-Fi capable. Now the battery on this is 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp hour, proprietary style battery case. You know, that's a generic battery installed inside a proprietary case. So you're going to need to buy replacement batteries for this from uh, the vendor, whoever is selling this, should be ha have the replacement batteries in the future. But again, the battery just slides in like so into the belly of the drone like that. And you unfold it like that and you're ready to go. Now make sure you got your clips, these clips inserted to hold, lock it in place. Like, you know, the, each of these arms in place so that they don't flop downward. Now again, it is a GPS drone. It's going to need uh, GPS calibration, compass calibration. We'll go, go into that shortly. But and we're going to do that using this controller. Let's go over the controller first. Uh, this is for your rates button up here. This is headless mode, a quick press, or circle me. This does have circle me by a long press here. These are fake antennas. They do nothing. <laughs> so uh, you can start the video recording by pressing into the throttle stick like so. You can take a photo by pressing into the picture roll stick like so. You can do a gyro calibration by bringing both sticks down and to the right. Although, since this is a GPS bird, I don't know why you'd need to do a gyro calibration. Um, it has automatic takeoff and landing by pressing this button here, or automatic emergency stop by holding the button down here. It does have return to home and landing by pressing this quick button, quick press of this button here, and also a long press activates the compass calibration while the drone is on the ground and we have an on-off switch here. This uses the LWFPV app. With the LWFPV app you got a lot of advanced features for this like follow me. Um, you don't have circle me. You can activate using the app or the controller and uh, waypoints are available also on the, uh, F or the LWFPV app. Uh, let's see if I'm missing anything. I did mention 5G Wi-Fi. Make sure you, your phone is indeed 5G Wi-Fi capable and in addition to 1080p video it takes 5 megapixel still photos too. So let's fire this up, do a compass calibration, put it in the air and see how it performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Three, two, one. Okay the first thing we're going to need to do is a compass calibration and to do such we've got to turn on the drone by holding that button down and Making sure we got lights. They're all blinking rapidly right now. 
rapid blinking of the lights. Then we're going to press this compass calibration button and hold it down. Oh, actually, we've got to bind this first. And the lights, when you're bound, change to solid green in the front and red blinking in the back. Now, if we hold this button down for three seconds, it should be in compass calibration now. And what happens to the lights? They're all blinking, green in the front and red in the back. And to do a compass calibration, you're going to need to spin this pretty fast counterclockwise. Um, I tried doing a compass calibration dance. I wasn't fast enough. Also, let me take my watch off. <laughs> but to do it, okay, let's go in the shade so you can see the lights at least. They're blinking, both front and back are blinking red and green. Red, green, and we're going to do counterclockwise three turns rapidly until the red lights go solid and the green lights are blinking. Then we go nose down and go counterclockwise rapidly again until those green lights and red lights are, the red lights are blinking. Now the red lights blinking with the green lights solid means it's the compass calibration is complete and it's now looking for GPS satellites so we got to go put it back on its pad wherever you plan to take off from and open up the app. So hold on folks, we'll open up the app and get it in the air. Okay, this is the LWFPV app available on Google Play and iTunes. And looking up in the upper portion there, uh, you see we got a lot of telemetry information available with this app. But the one I'm concerned about right now is the one in the center there, which is the GPS. We have 12 satellites locked in, and we are more or less ready to take off. Uh, I'm going to start the video recording by, let's press this into the th throttle stick, and notice the word card comes up in video recording, so we know it's recording to the micro SD card now. Um, for automatic takeoff, we've got to press the automatic takeoff button, and hopefully this will take off. Maybe we've got to start the motors first to do such, and then hit that takeoff button. Yeah, I guess that's it. And go up a bit higher. Get in the picture. Say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? And syncing up the camera. Um, let me go up a little bit higher, right about there. It's altitude hold, what's to keep setting down to that position there, so I'm going to go up higher, get in it, and uh, let's see how well it's holding its position. It seems to be doing a good job, so let's go up a bit higher. And what I'm going to do, first thing I want to do, oh boy, it's stable. <laughs> it's a big stable bird. Let's push it forward. From that altitude there and go for it out into the field let's go to higher rate it's going too slow we'll head over to the uh skate park and let me plop it right there wherever it's at because i want to see it i don't want to lose my sight on it here behind the trees pushing forward again and heading toward the skate park okay 154 feet, 188 feet, 200 feet. I want to go out to at least 328, which would be um, 100 meters. Still pushing forward. Going to the right a bit. Heading toward the skate park. 347, and I just lost signal, FPV. I'm plopping it there. Okay, I got FPV back again. Pushing forward again. I don't want to go too high. 55 feet by 20 meters up or so, less than 20. Heading toward the skate park, 475 feet. This is actually doing well. Okay, I lost it there again at 485 feet. Letting go and I got signal again. Going a little bit further, 510, 520. And almost at the skate park and I'm gonna call it quits right about there that's our skate park right there I don't want to go any closer and from there I'm gonna do return to home pressing the return to home button yeah let's see if it comes back it's turning and coming back to our position now you know this did 200 meters easily um, I think it could go out even a little bit further I think it's uh, predicted to go out to 300 meters uh, that's a pretty good range for 5g uh, normally I get 200 to 250, so we did 200 meters there. But here it comes back. I can see it. Doing a nice job coming back. 
advantage of this bigger drone is that it is stable up there. I don't know if you can see that, folks. Okay, it plopped itself there. I don't want it to end in the tree. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. But it slowed itself down to make the final approach to the landing pad here by the trees. And let's see how close it comes. Now, I'm going to stop it from landing just before it touches down. Okay. Come on down. You can do it. 55 feet up. And there it goes. Starting its descent. We still got a lot of battery power. Now I'm noticing as it's coming down there is some um, vortex ring state. Okay, I gave it pitch to stop it. You got to give it pitch a roll to stop it. But there was some vortex ring state as it came down. So let me get back in the image again. And I want to try its photos. Let's take a photo with the right stick. <laughs> okay, that's enough pictures. Okay, it says it's red now in 65 degree power, but I haven't tried that. Uh, I want to try um, waypoints. Let's go over a little bit further out into the field before we do the waypoints. And then I'm going to the map mode now and zoom it, zooming in. And we're going to try the uh, advanced features of waypoints. Okay, let's go there. Oh, okay, I got to draw a waypoint. I'm going to do it there, 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 and then back to its position. And there, close enough. And then submit. Okay, let's see you do it. <laughs> I'm kind of scared right now because of these. Let's just see where it goes. One over there. I wonder if it's video is recording. Yeah, it's recording. Going back there. One. Boy, it's slow. You can adjust these parameters down in the... Um, Okay, it's waypoint one and it's just stopped there, waypoint one. And is it gonna go to waypoint two? I don't know. There you go, it's now it's decided to turn to waypoint two, going to waypoint two, which is over there. Then waypoint three is gonna turn and come back toward me. We're gonna stop it at waypoint three because this will take it all day. <laughs> the way you can adjust these the speed of this again in the parameters, and I'll show that here shortly. Uh, but I do want to demonstrate follow me. So let's stop it right there and come down and bring it back. That's its waypoints. The waypoints do work. And the waypoint map does work also, by the way, um, which is surprising. <laughs> A lot of these drones, they don't work properly. Let me show you that. Uh, in settings, okay, let's, well, I'll show you that shortly. But you can also set... In addition to, to map, you can uh, use satellite view too. Okay, I want to try circle me now. And um, I think I got to use this for circle me, don't I? Holding down the button. Let's try the circle me. It's going over there. And is, is it going to turn back toward me again? Uh, or do I got to start the circle? trying to start to circle. There we go. Maybe that's it. There we go. Circling. So that's circle me. <laughs> it does have it. Okay, and I'm down to 36% power, so we're going to switch from circle me now. By, let's see if I turn it off by pressing down this button here. Because people are mainly interested in the next one, which is follow me. Is follow me activated? Yes, it is. It's, it's pointing toward me. Let's see if it'll keep up with me if I run. <laughs> well, if I'm walking backwards. It is coming toward me. Okay, what if I go toward it? 
would go away from me. Yeah, there it goes. So follow me does work also. So uh, all the features work as advertised, which is pretty cool. And how much power we got? 24% power. Now there's one thing that I, I'm concerned about on this drone. Let's stop follow me. Going into follow me and stopping it. Take over control again with the sticks. Let's bring it down low. I want to show it to you. What my concern is. Everything works great with this drone, except one thing I'm concerned about. And notice these propellers. They're pretty darn close to the ground. So if you land in grass, um, make sure to use the, keep your finger on the emergency stop button as soon as it touches down. Make sure you shut off those motors because you don't want to burn them up, you know. Um, if they hit something, if they get obstructed by something, that could be a problem, okay? Uh, Let's see, I'm going to stop the video recording and start it one more time. Sticking up the camera one more time. And we're going to finish this off with just flying it. Burn up that battery. Boy, this is an odd looking bird, ain't it? But it sure flies a lot like my old V262. <laughs> the feel of it. Sounds like my old V262. Let's go to a higher rate. Which one the Oh, too high of a rate. Okay, that's his battery warning. So let's see if we can get back on the pad. I don't want to land on the grass if I can avoid it. Coming down lower. And remembering where the emergency stop button is. Ah, emergency stop. <laughs> See, see how those motors got stopped by the grass? So that was my concern there. Okay, that's our low battery warning. Let's stop the video too before we turn it off. Okay, so that should record it. Um, turning off the transmitter and turning off the drone. Final thoughts on this. Um, everything does work as advertised, folks. Um, it is a really nice, stable GPS drone. My only concern is, again, it's brushed motors and these propellers being down like that, you're going to make need to make sure to stop those motors as soon as they touch down. Otherwise, you might end up with some burned out motors earlier than normal. Okay. Hopefully, they'll also come out with replacement motors for this. Um, replacement doesn't look to be too hard. You know, it's one, two, three screws there and one, two, three screws in the back here. You know, remove the propeller first. How does that propeller come off? It seems, oh, there it is. A little, it's held on by a screw. And then you remove the propeller first, remove these six screws, plop off the top there, and unplug the old motor. I think they're plug in. Let me see, can I see a plug? Yeah, they appear to be plug in there. And then plug in a new motor as soon as they become available for this. <laughs> I don't know when that'll be. So, hope you enjoyed this flight of the Idea 9. Really interesting looking drone. Let me get a different thumbnail for this, holding it up like so. This is a big one. Big, uh, big drone. So, Quadcopter 101, signing out.